Cheeto Awuzie flashes his form. Mike Petralia outside Paycor Stadium. Another hot and very humid day here on Wednesday afternoon, but the Bengals players, they catch a bit of a break thanks to the coaching staff, Zach Taylor and company, having the team work out inside for the first 45 minutes in air conditioning on the turf. Uh, inside the IEL a practice facility before moving outside for the remainder of practice on the Kettering Health practice fields where most of the training camp has uh, indeed been taking place in a very hot and humid day. But somebody not bothered by it, Cheeto Awuzie, the cornerback, of course, coming off the ACL tear uh, last Halloween in Cleveland. He has looked strong throughout rehab in OTAs mini camp early part of training camp and on monday he finally got back in on 11 on 11s and here on wednesday the first play very first play of 11 on 11s he intercepts jake browning jumps a route in front of jamar chase and returns it the other way really showing that he is ready to go and get on that practice field next week when the bengals really ramp up their preparations for the cleveland browns september 10th in Cleveland. Of course, the Bengals want to get a final look at all of their second and third team players really battling for back end roster spots uh, in the preseason finale Saturday in Washington. But Cheeto Awuzie, he looked very good here on Wednesday afternoon, really has looked the role of a leader in that secondary, even when he hasn't been on for seven on sevens and 11 on 11s. Here on Wednesday, inside the uh, facility, uh, on the turf, in the air conditioning, he was showing players how to jump routes. He was going through the drills. He looked very smooth, making all of the cuts uh, that Charles Burks, the defensive back coach, cornerbacks coach, wanted to see his cornerbacks make. He, Cheeto was leading the way in all of the drills, intercepting a couple of passes, showing how it's done. Wouldn't be surprised if Cheeto Awuzie becomes one of the team captains of this 2023 Bengals team, but that will be decided once the final roster is set next week. So stay tuned for that. Tyler Boyd making some comments after practice today about he would have loved to have played in some preseason games, gotten some series in, but he understands that with Joe Burrow sitting out, and the team really want to get, wanting to get a look at rookies like Charlie Jones and Andre Yoshivas, Yoshi as most fans know him now. He understands why the starters are sitting out these preseason games. Means, though, that the Bengals and uh, Tyler Boyd and Jamar Chase and T. Higgins want to make a most of their opportunities in practice. T. Higgins had another terrific catch on a ball that was a little bit behind him here on Wednesday. He was able to torque his body and come down with it. Great catch, one-handed by Jamar Chase on a throw from Jake Browning towards the far sideline. Uh, that was a little bit later in practice. But both T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, and Tyler Boyd getting their work done in practice again here on Wednesday afternoon and looking very sharp doing it. So uh, look for that Tyler Boyd interview on my YouTube page, youtube.com backslash at Jungle Roar. Pod. As for those on the field here on Wednesday, DJ Turner did return. Not a surprise. BJ Hill dealing with some lower body soreness. Uh, he got another day off from working outside in the heat. But again, another good day for the Bengals outside. Their next to last day of training camp practice. Their final day will be all indoors. It'll be like a Friday before a Sunday game here on Thursday afternoon, they have the day off on Friday, and then uh, they travel to Washington for the game Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern time against the Washington Commanders. We'll have you covered on Twitter, on x.com, at TRAGS, T-R-A-G-S, C-L-N-S, media.com, and again, on my YouTube page, youtube.com, backslash, at Jungle Roar Pod. Outside Paycor Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.